Introducing the all-metal 3D model, Marvel Avengers War Machine. This kit is offered by the nice folks at the Metal Earth Company. Now, if you're as much of a big fan of the Marvel Avengers as I am, you need to start building some of these to have your own set. Now, the folks, the nice folks at Metal Earth, have a number of different of the Marvel Avengers available in these really cool kits. If you've never built one of these all metal kits, they do take a bit of work and there's lots of parts. So you got to really pay attention to what part goes where, but they're so much fun. Now there is a whole bunch of instructions. Almost no words in the instructions though. Anytime there is any words in the instruction, you got to pay attention. The way these parts come, they come as flat sheets of steel. You take these flat pieces and you bend them into all types of 3D shapes. And of course, you're going to need some tools. Now, you notice that I got a whole bunch of different tools here. None of them cost me really anything. A very important factor is never break these parts off of the back. Make sure to cut them with some sharp nippers. The reason you have so many different kinds of pliers is for moving stuff around. Now, they have an ingenious situation. You don't solder, you don't glue these parts together. You put the tab in the hole and you either give it a twist or you push it over. So what you basically do is you take and build one little piece and then you put it on to another piece and then you put it on to another piece. Now some of the parts require a great deal of, mm, let's call it thought. How to get a flat piece round. So one piece goes together and another piece goes right on top of it. They're very clearly is a left and right to these things so you have to keep track and you have to figure out where you are in the directions I always make sure to mark them off and before long you end up with a whole pile of sub assemblies and then of course like I said there's very clearly lefts and rights on these so you gotta make sure you put them on correctly and make sure that each joint is good and tight before you move to the next one otherwise it gets really sloppy there will be times where you'll try to decide whether or not I want to put this on now or later. Like the gun assembly, I didn't want to put it on now because I figured I'd break it off. So I ended up putting it on absolutely last. And this is a really good sign here. Here's one of the sheets that, well, a lot of the parts are gone. That must mean that we're moving along nicely. Okay, so we've got the top part done. Now we're working on the bottom part. Once again, you put one piece on top of another piece on top of another piece. And sometimes you have to get a little forceful to get these things to go to where you want to be. You want to be careful of it. Now there are very distinctive lefts and rights that I said, especially like the top of the legs. They have to have very specific orientation so they go together correctly. Once you get to the point where you're putting the feet on the base, you know you're almost done. What a lot of fun these are. Now the midsection goes in the girdle. There is once again a front and a back of this, so read, well, I should say look at the directions carefully. Same thing when you put this subassembly onto the legs. Once again, there's a very distinctive front and back. And then finally, we're putting the torso on the lower section. Now this takes a little bit of squeezing and pushing and then all of a sudden, pop, it's together. And here we've got it, a wonderful war machine 3D model by the nice folks at Metal Earth. Now these kits are wonderful good fun, but they're not for the kids. These kits are not for the under 14 bunch. Just because your kid's good at Legos doesn't mean he should work on these because there are lots of sharp little pieces and you end up getting poked quite regularly. Well have fun with your models. Thanks for joining me. Check out these Metal Earth kits. They're the best. Bye now.